It's all thanks to that uh, upper low that is a uh, swirling off to our north and east and high pressure quickly building in behind that. So between the two had that difference in pressure and that has made for a blustery day across the valley. But as this all starts to lift away, high pressure is going to lead us to a calmer night and eventually a starry night. It looks pretty good in Gettysburg as we take that live glance over a Lincoln Square. The flag still flying in the breeze at least a little bit, but as that high starts to shift our way, we are going to have a lighter breeze tonight. Through the evening, it is still going to be uh, gusty. Could have those readings up beyond 35 miles per hour under plenty of sunshine temps in the middle and uh, upper 50s. As we step through tonight, we'll dip back into the low to mid 40s under a clear sky. We'll have that wind from the west to southwest around 5 to 10. And then tomorrow we'll start off with plenty of sunshine, but clouds start to bubble up in the heating of the day as this cold front starts to work toward us. And eventually that is going to bring the potential for some showers and storms late that could be on the strong to severe side. That's why we made it an impact day and the warmth highs in the 70s will lead to that instability. If you are planning on getting out though, most of our Sunday will be dry, but with that we're going to have high pollen levels in the air and also a high UV index with that burn time of uh, 30 minutes. Thankfully, if you're getting out for maybe a hike or a walk, we'll have good uh, air quality conditions. The Almanac today, we hit 61, a little below normal for this time of the year. Our low early on today was 49 with officially two hundredths of an inch of rain out at Harrisburg International. Temps now in the low 60s in Carlisle, 56. The current temp in Sealands Grove, we have 59 in Lebanon and 60 on the dot here in Lancaster. That warmth tomorrow as a hit on booster instability, we have an enhanced risk because of that across our northern locales. That means numerous severe storms are possible. Higher chances there, lesser chances the closer you get to the Mason-Dixon line as that instability starts to fade past sundown tomorrow. So in terms of the timing, 7 to 11 looks to be the best bet for the potential of stronger to severe storms that could bring all hazards, damaging wind, some hail, and we can't completely rule out a spin up tornado where we have a little more organizational wind off to our northwest closer to that uh, warm front and that could lead to some minor damage out there. Maybe some power outages and some uh, trees down, maybe the potential for flooding as well in the downpour. So all of that we'll be watching closely over the next 24 hours. Here's predictor. We can see as we progress through the night, really a starry sky. The wind starts to lighten up tomorrow morning. We'll start off with lots of sunshine, but notice closer to lunchtime, a little wind switch may try to spark up a bit of cloud cover. We continue to see that trend developing through the evening. There's the front. This is dinner time. It's dropping in. These storms could be on the strong to severe side, but they start to lose their punch little by little as they work into the southern half of the valley through 11 o'clock through midnight. Then it's out of here as quickly as it moves in. And Monday looks a bit brighter on the News 8 Storm Team 10 day. And it, it'll be feeling good too. Middle 70s for us. Warm on Tuesday as well. Another system gets closer to us on Wednesday. A warm front brings the potential for some showers. Thursday it looks a little bit drier. And then we have another system bringing the potential for some rain Friday into Saturday. And behind that, a shot of Colder air McKenna highs only in the 50s and lower 60s heading into early the following week. I guess we got to enjoy these next couple of days.